And now, download Thursday with Marquette Smith. It's time for the Thursday download segment. Marquette Smith joins us now with more. A private school for special education students is embracing technology. That's right. You know, the iPad 2 is coming out soon, and everybody's excited. But for students at High Road Academy in Lanham, an iPad sometimes serves as math teacher. Administrators at the private school for the learning disabled say the technology is a perfect fit because their academic environment is centered on hands-on learning. I recently visited the school to find out more about this high-tech take on education. While this may look like your average teenager playing a video game, he is actually engaged in a math lesson. You can do addition, subtraction, multiplication. What do you like about this iPad learning lesson that you're doing here today? Well, it helps it help you, help you get better in your math and everything. Everything you blast as a school, and every uh, math point you get is a, a great your school. Oh, my high school was 90, it was 97%. But the school's head of administration says the iPad lessons are about more than just a high score. She says the students' cognitive and motor skills are also being improved because you have a lot of different virtual things going on on the iPads and the students have to be quick with their reactions. Their eye coordination has to be in line with what's going on on the application as well. So that helps with their eye coordination and their fine and gross motor skills. And in this age of rapidly growing technology, educators here are learning that paper and pencil assignments just won't cut it with these tech obsessed teens. And of course, if they were just doing paper and pencil tasks, they could have just st stayed in the regular public schools and done that. So we know that them being in our particular setting, they're going to need something more, something hands-on to reinforce the lesson. So is it funner doing your math and spelling on an iPad as opposed to a book? Yes. Our student reaction has been really overwhelming. Our students really enjoy being able to learn in different ways. We know when you're working with learning disabled students, the best way to teach them is to individualize the lesson for them to allow it to be something fun. And in this day and age, students are really engaged in a lot of technology outside of school, and having it be a part of their academic setting has really been a very positive part of our program. How do you think these iPads and smart boards are helping you learn? Because it's more hands-on other than a book because you got to sit there with the book at your desk and you can sit there on the iPad and it helps you hands-on more and it talks to you and it explains it to you. Mm -hmm. It's a little more patient. Yes. <laughs> And the electronic whiteboards you saw in the video have also replaced traditional science lessons at the school. Students now dissect frogs in a virtual lab as opposed to a real one. Wow. All right, well, thank you, Marka. That's very interesting, You're but welcome. is there any research that shows that these kids are actually learning better? Yes, well, you know, there's lots of studies that are undergoing, lots of newspaper articles suggesting that these types of lessons in iPad, more so the software, not the iPad itself, is helping autistic children and the learning disabled with their communication and social skills, so it's all developing, but, but it's a very hot topic right now. Okay, well, thank you, Marquette. You're welcome.